Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie. It's time for more Record Keeper. Today, we have a Type 0 event, which it's been a bit since we've had Type 0. Introducing the characters Sice and Seven, who are, uh, I actually don't know what the hell they do. Type 0. Still that one big gap of Rocket Keeper knowledge for me. Okay. I know Sice has a scythe. That's about it. Nice auto host there, Doc. Uh, I almost started from the beginning. EX Plus, we got Flyburn, and we got Shinryu. Defenses are still high on the Shinryu, but not high enough that it actually matters at this point in the game. Seven is kind of an Ice Mage. Eh, you know, I was going to say, another mage for Type Zero, and then I remembered that actually, uh, we only have one mage in Type Zero. So that's fine. That was the one thing I forgot to load in memory. Was the, uh, the save party list. Type 0, consistently a very, very loud event. Oh, there we go. I didn't have chat up over here. Oh, apparently I was auto-hosted by Slyo and Moon while I was away as well. That's cool. Let's see if we can find a Type 0 uh, move for the Type 0 event. Shell PSB, Shantoto BSB, and Edgar BSB. That's actually not bad. Yeah, if I remember right, Palm has a pretty... What if, though? I've never seen this, actually. Speaking of leveling characters from 1 to 99, I had to do some stuff uh, for this event. Which we'll see uh, later this stream, for sure. This admission will not be easy. That is 100% accurate. folder I was using for uh what's it called Hoshigami stuff Hoshigami exists Hoshigami is I actually found uh, Bizarro Sephiroth to be a really fun fight. 
Um, the Sid mission is whatever. Sid missions on fights that hard are ridiculous. But, uh... Yeah, I think Bizarro as a fight in general was really cool. Welcome to the first load of the stream. Here just in time for the music track to not loop properly. Oh right, you resist all those elements. Well... It okay. <laughs> Ooh, I left Curata on her. My gimmick. I'm invalidated. If I have problems with the Sid mission, maybe I will sub in Rem. I didn't use her because I was like, eh, holy damage. Uh, hmm, her. But maybe. Just maybe. I unironically kind of like this song. I mean, I have Rem's USB, which is, like, extremely solid. No, I broke my rule. I just did it instinctively. I'm a monster. I'm going to jail. Ah. Punched my table. Congrats on your six star from the new daily draw. I just got a five star on stream. So that's that's alright.
If I remember right, Barrett's USB was actually kind of alright. I mean, yeah, obviously you wouldn't put them on a fire wind team, uh, but uh, you could always slap them on. I would definitely use, actually, questioning if I would even use him in the uh, Torment. Man, is seven bad? How long do you spend setting up teams for each stream? Mattering on the difficulty of the fight? Anywhere between, uh... And obviously how many fights I do, too. I would say anywhere between three and six hours. I think today was a solid four. Because... Now that these events are full release, I also test the fights that I can that are like very low stamina costs. I mean, that's on and off. Like, I, I couldn't give you an exact number. But, uh, I definitely think I finished up earlier today at around 4-ish when I got home. But again, I was on and off doing it. I was prepping stuff for Arcade Pit and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, I think today was about three hours. There's a very specific account that I follow on uh, YouTube. That is a Japanese account that posts pretty low effort videos for all the bosses as well. Similar to what I do to an extent. Uh, and I'll sometimes crib strategies from them, but it gets it lets me get a good look at the fight and what what is kind of needed. See, the nice main thing is that uh, because this is a phone game and I don't need to be tied to anything, uh, nine times out of ten, I can do my prep work for streams while I'm doing other stuff. Also, this version of the boss is going to be way tamer. Mainly physical attacks, but does start using those uh, percentiles when it gets low in health. Okay, you're going to be better off doing your your summon. Your summon's going to hit for max damage.
But yeah, really, it's simple. It's a dumbed-down version of the boss that we had last event. The nice thing is it doesn't do party-wide percentile damage that you can't avoid based on your max HP. I'm not still mad about the last time I fought this thing. You're mad. Okay, God, I was trying to keep this in until a video cut. Man, whenever, nowadays, whenever I hear anybody do, like, the Bruce Banner slash Hulk, that's my secret, I'm always angry. All I think about is the comic based off the one, uh, My Brother, My Brother and Me segment of what if Bruce Banner thought Busting a nut meant being angry. Hold up. I I'll find the comic real fast because this comic is the funniest goddamn thing I have ever fucking read. Here you go, chat. Enjoy this. Just the comic in question, <laughs> Captain America talking to Bruce Banner. Now, now might be a good, a really good time for you to bust a nut. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always busting a nut. Classic. Yeah, so uh, the, the reference, the story behind that comic was... Uh, it, it's literally the, the quote in... The, the description of the comic. It was a uh, a message, I guess, written into uh, My Brother, My Brother and Me, the Mikhail Roy podcast, um, where uh, the person disc uh, mentioned that their professor at college thinks that, thinks that busting a nut means being angry. Which is great. Never correct that person. Just let them go on thinking that.
Moving on to semi-real fights. Semi, only kind of. So, the general here has a gimmick of when he is low to the ground, um, he does not, he is immune to magic attacks and when he's in the high air, he's immune to uh, close range attacks. The obvious answer to this is just build a team that is ranged physical attacks and you get to ignore that part of the gimmick completely. Alternatively, uh, the boss doesn't even really have that much health, so if you're re running a strong enough melee team, you can probably kill it before he takes off. As you're seeing here. Remember when I was complimenting the Type Zero soundtrack? Not so much of the song. Well, the next D Whale that we're getting is what, eight? That's the next torment. Six. Ah. Ooh, I just barely didn't get there in time. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for six either. I mean, there's a way for me to check. Well, I do have an in-realm attack boost. I have a holy imperil. Uh, Terra's Terra's all right, actually. You got that glint and that overstrike. Lock both of his bursts. Oh, I have the fire chain too. But then again, I wouldn't use the fire chain. There's realm chain. Hmm. 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 Oh wait, there's a mistake on this. Star Prism is a burst, not a super. Let me fix that real quick. There we go.
Yeah, but uh, 8 is definitely after 6 then. I remember definitely seeing 8 coming up on the schedule. I could maybe take 8. My in-realm healing is fine. I'm more worried about... I don't think I have any boosts in 8 now that I think of it. But then again, boosts in 8 are rare, if I'm remembering correctly. As in there's like... One. I'm probably going to be relying on a lot of self boosting for eight. There's our fireworks going off. No fireworks from Memorial Day. What a thing. Fire fireworks all for. Again, they made fireworks legal to sell in New Jersey and people went nuts. Ah, right, it's Labor Day tomorrow, not Memorial Day. It's very hard to keep track of these holiday names. Two Yetis. Yeah, summer's ending soon, or you could just be like me and seasons are fake. Every day is the same as last. One of those was a miss. Still, sometimes I wonder why can abilities miss? Oh, you're not good with cold. Alright, yeah, that's a. Yes, then seasons are very real for you. I see what you mean. So these bosses are all melee. Uh, they have ice based attacks ice fist there is is ice damage even though it looks like it should clearly be earth I'm a big fall boy too I really like fall fall I feel like is when the temperature is just right also you know I live in the Northeast America, where spring is a fake month that doesn't actually exist.
chest thump there is a... Max hit of a... Uh, of a heal. And uh, actually is an attack buff on them too. So you generally want to throw out a... One of them hot attack downs on them. And I think Ultimate Ice Fist can cause interrupt. But really this fight is, do you have Valley Garmanda? If you have Valley Garmanda, uh, you're fine. Yeah, see, I'm kind of the opposite since I can uh, I can work from home. I actually uh, I like snow. I like watching snowfall, and then I like everything all white. I like the look of snow. I remember that winter, Fiona, because that is when I went up to PAX, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was so much fucking snow. Also, this is a job, it's just my part-time job. I only do, you know, 20 hours a week of this, as opposed to the 40 hours that I do in my real job. Y'all, I work 60 hours a week, more or less. If I could, I would stream more, but I think it would actually kill me. I believe that the polar vortex is created by climate change. Um, what a lot of people don't realize, and why like some people sometimes go, ah, how can it be getting hotter if it's so cold at times? Is like, y dog, when heat is introduced to the environment in drastic places, it will move the cold around to other places that don't usually get that cold. It's like the theory between raining. If you want, you know, newbie's hot tip to know if it's going to rain that day or not, uh, or if it's going to rain soon, if there is a drastic drop or a drastic rise in temperature, it is probably going to rain pretty soon. As that means your cold front or your hot front just got hit with an opposite front, which usually causes rain to happen. It's not a 100% accurate thing, but uh, it's usually like a good 70, I would say. And again, that's sort of like my armchair science on the, uh, the coal, the, the, polar vortex stuff like I, I I am not a meteorologist I do not know that stuff 100% but it's pretty accurate if I'm right yeah or in some areas tornadoes that's the rough areas
Alright, so... This boy's gimmick, and really... The gimmick of... All of the, uh... The really, really hard fights this event... Is simply... When they... As they drop in health... Their attacks don't really change. Like, they don't get new attacks. Their previous attacks just become way more vicious. Did I turn this volume up too high? When I was adjusting it earlier? Nope, 8. That's what I always have it at. Just welcome to Type 0, where this, the music is way too loud. Yes. Um, I'm not using Lion because, uh, yeah, while her thing does debuff, uh, it's a BSB. And of course the gimmick is only supers for an Apocalypse Plus. There you go, that's your message. It says he begins to enrage. Uh, the nastiest moves of course, only really emerge once he hits 40%, and once you hit that threshold, uh, don't really know a lot of them. That one, though, Gale Slash, which looks like a basic-ass fucking attack, uh -huh, removes Protect, and this guy is entirely physical-based, so you want to keep that Protect up. Ah, right, yes. Also under 40%, his attacks become ranged. Which is why I kind of, on a completely physical boss, have a very front row team. Because it really doesn't matter once you hit the danger mode. Let's get this out ahead of time. Yeah, it's less in rage and more in range. Ah, you see, because <laughs> it's long range. Ah, uh, I'm going to jail. Yeah, and there you see, he is dealing equal damage to Yuna now. Uh, also, that was Gale Slash, so we don't have Protect anymore. But, I also have my moves now, so this final phase isn't going to last too long. Cool move. Let me see it again. He's dead anyway. I am uh, very happy that this guy is not the Apocalypse Double Plus. Well, the Apocalypse Double Plus is really rude for different reasons. I wouldn't want to dispel on that one.
Yeah, the uh, the double pulse doesn't have a lot of overall damage. He just has a lot of burst damage, and that's the real real scary thing. So it's Nimbus. Uh, Ragnarok happens three times over the course of the fight. Once at the start, once at seventy, once at forty. Uh, hitting more characters each time and piercing more as it is a piercing attack uh, ultimate eviscerate lowers defense and apocalypse eviscerate interrupts and yes as the description said doesn't change too much over the fight. Actually has, generally, the same four attacks. Uh, they just upgrade at each HP threshold. Uh, unlike the Apocalypse Plus, uh, Nimbus's moves do not uh, become back row. So, if you want, you can stay powerful by being in the back row. I'm not a coward, though. Yeah, I like the thought process. I, I generally like it when you have to, you can actually put some theories behind the apocalypse, like the higher level fights. And yeah, this one is, it's the same guy except somebody didn't pull rank on him and tell him to leave. One of the issues here of why uh, why I have some problems with this admission in that uh, I have not a lot of gear for Type Zero, very little gear for Type Zero actually. Oh, also, the big thing about this boss that I haven't mentioned yet, uh, Omni Resist. Uh, hold up. Brain fart. Never respect Ragnarok. Uh, 
I fully imagine not just. Dis- yep. What happened the first time I did this? Oh, you know what it was? I know what I did. Okay. I know what I did wrong. Grab the right soul break, right? Okay, good. Also, good. Finish up the thing I was doing on the side of my phone. Multitasking here on stream. It'll be fine. Oh, that's what happened in my testing, right? Uh, in my testing, Vaughn was hit first, so he was able to just heal with. Yeah, all right. Why does a giant fuck off laser do less damage to the back row? I mean, there's a simple answer to that. It has to travel further. There you go. Well, it is ranged, it's just, you know, lasers slow down the further they go due to air resistance. And, uh, you know, they're not as effective at long range. doing any anything I'm giving you the real science scientific reason for why lasers are bad at a distance oopie day they'll be fine So now we're using Ultimate Eviscerate here. Ultimate Eviscerate is nasty because it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
it uh, lowers defense, which is just rude. back in. Now, the final phase is actually the most dangerous. Uh, because Apocalypse Eviscerate does that nasty interrupt. And let's just make sure that doesn't fall off. Case in point, which is why instant actions are so powerful. Case in point. Also, Lustrous Sword, which is now hitting, like, the entire party. But, the fight is done. Crystals. Oh, by the way, as an update on the uh, no sphere left behind, no dive left behind uh, side of things, I finished 13. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll show that off a little bit later. But yes, I have 14, 15 tactics and type 0 beyond to do because core is already done you can't you know you can't dive the generic core characters because you can't right which uh which one did i jump into um i think i'm sitting on like eight memory crystals right now probably nine after this event I mean, the core characters are bad because they're they're bad as a joke. We train them wrong as a joke. Also, welcome to Type Zero, where there's no dancer. Type Zero doesn't have a dancer. Why does Type Zero not have a dancer? Unless. Sice or uh, Seven is a dancer, in which case, 
Oh, I guess I'm at fault for not unlocking them. Is seven a dancer? Okay. Interesting. Well, well, I don't have seven. Uh, but if this fight proves too hard, I can go unlock seven and get her up to speed. Oh, she's five six star support. You know who else is six star support? Sink. You know it's a better character? Sink. I mean, honestly, it's just because Sync is pretty much Sarasa from Grand Blue Fantasy, it feels like. I mean, even down to the fact that she's also Earth based. I mean, here's my hot take. Give Squall the answer. Give Renoa the answer. They danced. I saw it. It happened. Oop, that was the same target. Oopsie. Also, hmm, I forgot to put ice resist accessories on them. This could be a problem. Mayhaps I should focus one down. That's one less person I have to heal. Strategy. Tactics. Execution. All according to plan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well...
This is fine. Uh, I don't bring the dual cast summon wrecking materia if I know I'm not going to be hitting like magic cap or cap damage because then I bring boosted magic. And generally, because I'm hitting way below my belt. Wait. <laughs> way below my weight. Yes, I punch myself in the dick constantly is also a good description of what I do. Um, <laughs> uh, because I'm hitting way below my weight class. Uh, it, it's worthwhile for me to bring that magic boost. So, thing that is going to occur real quick. Uh, because I realized after my testing that this would help a bunch. And that's a finished cup of coffee. Time to break out the water. It's here, finally. The drive. The power. Time to get more power crystals. Oh, I know what I'm farming now. Because, like, uh... Right there and ice ice I'm actually finally recovering from uh, Voltec major power non elemental is finally recovering as well that was down to like 40 recently I finally got that one back up Well, though, it's time for hell. So, this boss, I kind of school, like, I didn't give me too hard of a time. I was also applying multiple attack down debuffs to it. What if you had a roster of characters who couldn't do that? Then, the boss becomes much tougher. And yes, you. You are going to get Omega Drive.
Oh no. Did I use up all my Divine Veil Grimoires? Game, I need one more. Game, I need to screenshot the stats on this team. There we go. Fucked up that there is a Divine Veil, the move, and then Divine Veil Grimoire. Not confusing at all. Actually, it's actually not confusing at all because I've now, for the umpteenth time, remembered that it's not Divine Veil, it's Miracle Veil. Divine Veil is the Final Fantasy XIV move that does pretty much the same thing. I will make this mistake a hundred thousand times until the end of days. To be fair, back then, uh, during the the nightmare phase of the game, um, six stars were gross. Six stars were very powerful, so they had to restrict that. And then you know they increased difficulty, so they can throw out crystals way faster. Okay. Game, you were just in here. Please. The other tactic for Ryan Rock just defend. She'll be fine. Oh, well, this fight where I skirt death a lot. Sink is going to be doing real damage over the course of this.
We might push really soon. Well. Welcome to this fight. Also, grats on your USBs. It's fine. As somebody who has uh, Bart's triple cast Arkham Materia, a very low cast triple cast, like one of those triple cast Legend Materias, uh, happen way more often than you think. They're not nearly as rare as people make them out to be. It's all right. We have Enkidu. That's free damage. Also, welcome to Ultimate Abilities. Also, welcome to me. Maybe I didn't need to do that again.
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. He really likes that move. Even though he clearly has another one that is very single target. Yeah, I feel like I'm just under the mark for being able to do real damage to this guy. And have a very smooth version of this fight. Uh, the main thing I think I could do was, again, yeah, swapping out uh, Ace for Rem since my rem is real. Rem's high, high cast procs off weakness. Well, there you go. Logic against Rem. Yeah, the other factor of it is it is a self buff. But I think it also lowers her defense, so... Counterpoint. This is fine. Oh, wrong person. It... It looked like... Machina here was going to get a turn before her. Way more so. We might lose the attack buff here. Yep, there it is. It just dropped off. Oh, you know what else just dropped off? Damn it.
Really, I need Machina to build more meter so that I can get his uh, his BSB off. That's what I'm lacking right now. Uh, <clears throat> not only will it give him a little bit more attack, but uh, it also gives the entire party a barrier. Like, if I didn't have to spend a lot of Deuce's turns buffing, this team would be way more, uh, like, guaranteed win. Because Deuce, Deuce can keep up with this damage. The problem is she has to buff while doing it. Yeah, and lowering the defense of people in the front row is also a bit of a problem. Here comes a, uh, a prayer. Should survive.
And th that is the last song that Deuce is going to sing, actually. That is why. Deuce extremely needs to focus on healing now. This fight is too much. This fight should not have been in this realm. This fight is actually worse than the water only uh, fight that 12 had. I might try Ram after this one. I mean, like, one of the main reasons that that went so south was fucking Deuce got stunned. Just say we okay. Every time I go for that button.
Oh god, he can't defend. But what if? It's kind of like defend. I I I unfortunately need to let the attack wear uh buff wear off because I am going to have to keep this team healed. Figures. Oh yeah, if I didn't have Machina's uh, SSB or BSB, this would not be possible at all. Oh, this is not going to be ready in time. I went on a gamble. Okay, this is fine. Faithful companion. What if crits though? Oh god, it does no damage. What if? Fuck yeah!
Fuck. Well, outside of being completely ridiculous 351, my track record stays consistent. Actually, I can say I've done every Apocalypse Double Plus. Bizarro was a different thing. Welcome to normal volume levels. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to leave the electric boost one for when I do the, uh, the electric draw. Uh, or the electric event, which will be next week. Next week after the normal event. Um, let's look at Type Zero, because people have not been saying good stuff about Sice. So, that's concerning. Also, this song, I unironically like this song. This is butt rock as hell. Er, yeah, Sice and Seven. Anywho. Elemental Slash for 7. 10 Magic Ice, non elemental, to 1 enemy. Uh, Imperial Ice and Attack Magic Resistance down. That's okay. It's also a large amount, so that's 50%. It's alright. Emperor USB, but Ice out of 10. It's good for an Ice team. Dark Nebula. Uh, God, look at that fucking icon. It's great. Uh, deal 10 physical dark non elemental to one target infused with dark enter malice mode Malice mode will temporarily cause users darkness abilities to charge users Change users delay and crit chance Up to three ranks when malice mode ends trigger cutting scythe cutting scythe you can't break the damage cap Do not use Crimson Cross on this, you will kill yourself. That seems about right, but I think with Dread Weapon, uh, you'd be fine. And, yeah, honestly, uh, this one's pretty solid. It's really good darkness damage, if you get it rolling. And, yeah, again, use, use Dread Weapon. Hey there, King. King USB is still real. 12 range lightning to one target. Infuse Lightning, increase user's attack and defense 30%, temporarily cause user's mocking abilities to double cast. That's a hungry cast, but still. Uh, and it is a lightning boosting gun. So King does real fucking damage with this and uh, Tempest Shot, Tempest Snipe. There we go. Um, on top of his dive, which is the haste, instant cast three. I did not grab my iPad before coming over here, so I can't look at these dives on call. But yeah, this uh, this can do work. Sync, who is still the game's best source for heavy damage. 10 physical earth win to one target in earth. Grant ability boost to heavy abilities and grant one additional rank of heavy charge when the user gains a rank of heavy charge. That's a 50% proc if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, this plus her dive, which is just chance to double cast on top of everything else. Uh, I think that's her dive. Sync's dive is a 50% proc. Okay. Grant one. Okay, this always grants one. Okay, so what this means is that she can cycle the uh, the release moves. She can do a release move, use her stacks, 50% chance to get a charge, and if she's in this mode, she gets a second charge. So she just goes right back into it. Uh, literally, Sync is the best source of Earth Heavy damage in the game. If you get her USB, uh, it's gross. She's disgusting. Uh, seven's diving strike with his earth ice boosting clothes on top of that. Uh, eight magic ice 
and full breakdown, burst mode. Two hits, attack down, two hits, magic down. It's a it's a torment you uh, burst. It's okay. It's still really nice. I think it's still a solid. So, and, and the fact that they made like a support magic burst, like yeah. Well, I think we'll see a lot more of this going down the line, but uh, it's okay. Uh, dark boosting armor. Eight physical dark. Raise attack and mind of all allies and doom them. Ooh, hello. Cloud of darkness. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's probably going to pick up on the mic. Four physical dark on command one, three physical dark, and reduce darkness abilities on command two. So it's alright. I'm always a little hesitant of these I doom the entire party moves. Because, hey, you know what? The fight shouldn't be taking 30, 30 seconds or more if you're you know using an actual team. So in that sense, <clears throat> it's pretty alright. Yeah, this would combo well with Reaping Scythe as well. Hello King. Lightning boosting, lightning resistant armor. Uh, 12 range, lightning fire, in lightning, enter burst mode. Command 1 is 4 hits, that's 5 if they're weak. Command 2 is 1 hit. That removes the delay of these actions for two turns. It's okay. It's an enlightening, yeah. Uh, it's also 12 hits, which is rare. So that'll be good for boosting chains. Hey, Command 2. Command 1 is alright if you ran out of uses. Sync is 6 ranged physical earth, non elemental to all targets. In Earth, enter burst mode. Command 1 is 3 hits. Increased damage for heavy abilities to 3 turns. Literally enough time to utilize heavy abilities. Command 2 is a... 50% defense break. It's an In Earth. They want you to In Earth, Command 1, and then... Command and then you know two charge into the final charge. But yeah, like compared to her USB, this isn't as good. I think it's still fine because it's an in earth on a heavy user. That's the big thing. Like you gotta remember, uh, in earth on a heavy user is still a big damn thing. So yeah. Small boost to holy damage. Eight magic holy dark to all enemies. Restore one ability. You can use this ability with the fewest uses. In holy. Enter burst mode. Command one is four hits with a drain. Command two is. Magic barrier with increased white magic damage. Uh, Rem's Burst is okay. It's it's actually fairly decent. That drain is really nice. Man Alchemy. Um, and the fact that she can boost herself, combo into that, it, it is good on its own. Uh, you can run her with Holy and Didar, Didia as well. Uh, and yes, this is one of the few uh, Ezmat killers that's out there. Queen, Manosphere. Eight range physical lightning, dark to one target. Temporarily set the critical hit chance of all allies 50%. Enter burst mode. Command one is three physical lightning, dark. Raise spellblade damage for three turns. Command two is two hits with a attack defense bargain. That's fine, honestly, for a lightning user. And it has crit fix on it as well. I don't know how much I would use these commands, but uh, 
Crit fixing and a Spellblade boost is solid. All right, the fast ones. Small chance to temporarily lower the target's ice resistance. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, start in dark, fine. It's fine. Yeah, he's a lightning boy. In earth, also solid. And that's it, yeah. Uh, I don't hate anything on this banner. Like, actually, I don't. Uh, Queen is a bit of a weird character a lot of the time because she's like, whatever. Like, that's just a crit fix. I don't think Seven is a stain on this banner. You just have to realize that she's a support caster. The weird thing is that you need her, you need her breaks to do her support stuff. But, she's solid, she's fine, she gets her job done. Where is she? I keep, I keep missing her. There she is. Well, just remember, think of it this way. Does she... Okay, no, she only has support. Like, that's the big... That's... Okay, this is honestly... Like, if you held a gun to my head... This is Simmons' biggest weakness. If you don't have her breaks, her gimmick falls apart. Like, she's a support caster. But, that doesn't mean that she's bad on this banner. That just means, oh, you need to pull on this banner to make 7 worthwhile. I don't think she breaks the banner because she exists on it. Because, hey, you could pull her stuff. Mind you, if you o well, even if you only got her legend materia, then... Hey, guess what? Y you know what she is now? If you just get her legend materia? She's an ice DPS that imperils. I don't know. I think Sam's fine. I think everybody on this banner is fine. Uh, Type Zero continues to just bring about completely fine banners as long as Six isn't on them. I think it's Six. Six is the Dragoon, right? Nine. There we go. Yep. As long as 9 isn't on banners, Type 0 banners are fine. 9 and maybe Machina. Machina still has his uses. Oh! Uh-oh. There we go. Well, hello there. Nice. Slowly and surely. I will make sync useful. I, re I really want to use sync. Like the gimmick, her fucking gimmick is so good. And having an inner earth on her is a start. Now, speaking of which. And it finally happened. Well, I'll say this about Nox. Nox is being 
being way more well behaved recently. Like, okay. Final Fantasy Record Keeper crashed. Final Fantasy Record Keeper crashes on my phone all the fucking time. That's just Record Keeper. Uh, I haven't had a lockup on Knox for like a solid couple of streams in a row, and I've actually started using the BitCup again. Well. Hello. Yeah, I've been having some issues with Record Keeper recently on my phone as well. That's never good. Eh, that's alright. That's something new. Is that new? Why? <laughs> Game, why do you keep doing this to me? Game. Hello. There we go. Um, I actually already had my choice. Solid. Locked in. Uh, I am pulling for coverage here. Uh, and the main thing I do not actually have is like what this is I'm actually gonna double check my uh, my spreadsheet real fast before I lock this in let me just see here Gordon Burst is the last stand yes I have a lot of stuff in too um, I don't have a boost of any type Well, Okay. Grabbing that. But yeah, there we go. Now I have a solid boost for that realm. Because, like, the other thing is, eventually, once it comes around, if I haven't gotten anything yet... Um... I'm probably going to grab uh, Sarah's BSB off the healer BSB draw in here. I forget which one that is, but I will probably grab that off of here. Um, so that covers my healing in almost every round. But yeah, uh, for a hot reference real quick.
when I say, game, why do you keep doing this to me? When that Livia thing came up. Ovelia, not Livia. I really should just... I... Actually... I always think... Maybe I should just dive Ovelia, and then I remember... Ovelia's dive isn't very good. Game. Game Y. Do I ever be unique? I do not. Also, like, fucking, why not? Actually, let's take a quick look at hers. And then, uh, we'll probably sign off for the night. Yeah, accidental completed healer. Nope. One, two, three, four. That that one's actually done. Five. Five more realms. Yeah, I guess the Omni Resistance wouldn't be that bad. It's what, a 10% reduction? And it does also give her, you know, that 9% healing. The Silence Resist is nice too. The Mind Boosting. But, like, here's the other, like, the counter-argument for, Hey, newbie, are you going to dive a healer? So, uh... Just go down here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and a half. Four and a half. I think I will sit on investing in Ovelia for now. Because honestly. Dog, I can bring a dive. I can bring a dived healer to every point of Crystal Tower. Deuce's BSB is so good. People are, like diss that stuff, and I don't know why. Anywho. Mm, here it is. Six. Okay, six.
All right, so that was it for the Type Zero event. I mean, aside from that, Apocalypse Double Plus, which is just rough because, you know, Rare Realm. Uh, wasn't too bad. Uh, next time we got Final Fantasy VI with a, another new Torment coming along with it. So, I'll see you then.